row that's completed, but on this side, literally we have 10 rows. So that means I need at least, okay, my math isn't very good, but five or six rows worth of people here to stand up and fill the rows on this side, please. There's a lot of people that are starting to come in right now. We don't want to fill one side of the hall. We have to complete all the rows in the front. So please uh, stand up, take your shoes with you, and just move down to this side. It's the same thing with the sisters. There's only one completed row, not even. If you guys can move, please, to that side of the hall and complete the front rows. Also, please, brothers and sisters, we are in, in desperate need this, uh, this aid of your donations. Um, there's a lot of costs here. Uh, a lot of things didn't uh, go as planned, but Allah knows best. But it's an opportunity, inshallah, for everybody to donate. There's large cardboard boxes throughout the hall. There are volunteers walking through the, the aisles. This year in particular, we really need the support of the community. This is an amazing cause. Just last night, my six-year-old son, I said, uh, Isa, you need to go to sleep early tonight because tomorrow morning we're going to the Eid festival. And his eyes lit up and he said, Papa, is Muhammad going to be there? Yes. Is Ibrahim going to be there? Yes. And he was so excited. And he remembers every Eid when he comes here and he meets the, his friends in the community and he gets to enjoy the rides and the, the, his friends and the fun and the, the food. And so it's important, it's important for our youth to have a sense of identity so that they grow up feeling that this is their community, this is their identity. So think about that carefully. Uh, it's, it's a really important cause, we need to support it. So if you gave $5, you can still give more, you can give 10. If you gave $50, you can give 100. Honestly, for most people in here, even $1,000 is actually very affordable. It's not going to make you rich or poor. So, Think about that, inshallah, and, and I, I encourage you to donate very generously today. This is uh, the last of the last 10 days of Yul Hijjah, uh, the best of the days. Uh, all of your good deeds, inshallah, they'll go even further. It's a time for generosity. Uh, our Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in hadith uh, a few things. There, there's, no, there's no sunnah before Eid prayer. Uh, when he would come to the Eid prayer, he would take one route. When he went back, he would go on a different route. But above and beyond those uh, rituals, the most important thing was how charitable he was, how loving he was, and how happy he was, how festive he was, how it was a time to enjoy food and for celebration. And we shouldn't take that away from our children. So this is an important event that needs to be supported. A um, few timelines for you. The prayer, inshallah, will start at 10.15. The second prayer will be at 11 o'clock. Surah al -Dohar will be at 2 o'clock. Carnival will open at 11 o'clock. You, you do need to purchase uh, wristbands for that. If you didn't purchase one online, you can still do it just on the other side of the bazaar here. I encourage you to visit the bazaar after the prayer to support these Muslim businesses that are here um, um, supporting the event, inshallah. So uh, the carnival passes for four years old and up will be $15. If they're three or under, they'll be paying $8 for their wristband. There'll be henna, there'll be face painting between 1 to 5 p.m. Uh, there's a show with an animal show called Creature Quest. It'll be at 12 o'clock noon, so make sure you take your children there. Um, if you're purchasing a pass, make sure the, uh, the, the parent is there with the child. And the child has to be there too. You can't just go up by yourself. You have to have your children with you so that they can put the van um, on your child. Um, we also instruct parents to write their cell phone number on the wristband of the child. We get uh, a lot of, uh, trust me brothers and sisters, we get a lot of lost children at these events up here on the stage. Just write your, your cell phone number on the wristband so that if a child goes missing, we have a way to reach you quickly. Um, and you know, just be mindful of the height restrictions on the rides just so that your children don't wait 15 minutes in the lineup and then they find out that they're, they're too short or too small to go on the ride. Uh, the carnival will close at 6 o'clock p.m. today. And we do have a procedure for children who have special needs. They will not need to wait in line. They'll, they'll be given priority to move to the front of the lines uh, if, they're, if they have special needs. 